Rockland Family International Church presents Apostle E. H. Maulana, an emissary and servant of the Lord Jesus Christ by the will of God and a steward of the secrets and mysteries of God. Very fast. Okay. Is it possible for iniquities or sins to be transferable by <clears throat> association. E.g., if I associate with fornicators, do I also become one? <laughs> so, if you associate with a person with iniquities, does that iniquity become part of you? The answer is a bold yes. For example, the Bible tells you do not hang around a hot-tempered person lest you learn his ways. There is a story in, in, one of the Bible, in, in, in one of the books of the Bible and then God takes a priest and then he says to him, if you take something that is defiled, Okay? If you take something that is defiled and you put it on your garment, does your garment become defiled? And the prophet says, yes, I become defiled. So, for example, in the Old Testament, if you touch the dead body, you become defiled. So, God is asking the prophet and he says to him, if you do something unholy, if you touch unholy meat or something that has been defiled, do you become defiled? And the prophet says, yes, I become defiled. And then God says, if you touch something holy and you put it on yourself, do you become holy? And the prophet says, no. And God says, that's right, you can't. So evil is transferable, but holiness is not. So hanging around fornicators and certain types of people, you allow that spirit to be passed on unto you. Remember, the Bible is talking in the book of Romans, and it says not only do you practice that thing, but you approve of those who do the same thing. So you are all under the same case. That's why God says, come out of from them. How can righteousness and evil hang together? How can holiness and evil be together? How can, is there any common understanding between the temple of Satan and the temple of God? And he then says, you are the temple. Don't you know you are the temple of God? So he says, do not associate yourself with evil. Why? Because there is a principle of the law of association. You become one with them. Hence, God does not allow you. How many of you are Christians here? Let me see your hand. God does not allow you to date a non-believer. <clears throat> We're not talking about dating, right? So let's move on. <laughs> Come ye out from amongst them, and I will be your God. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. I will move amongst them. You are the temple of God. 